Hello everyone, let us go ahead and look at today's question. Now just have a look very carefully. Assertion and reason questions are very, very common for CUET entrance exam, okay? See, you may think that um, these assertions and reason questions are easy, but in fact, I find them one of the most uh, difficult, logically speaking questions. And I will show you that you may think that these two things are not, these two sentences that I just teach you are not linked to each other, but, but we will see if there can be any link that can be found. Okay. Achha, let's have a look at it. For inferior goods, the income elasticity of demand is negative. This is a statement and uh, they're giving a reason for it. What is the reason that they're giving? That as income rises, Good on which spending grows relatively faster than income will occupy rising share of income. Abhi to lag raha hai dono sentence ma koi matlab hi nahi hai ek saath matlab koi income badke good be kya hoga wo baat kar raha hai aur ek inferior good ki baat kar raha hai. Let us see if um, things are making some sense. If I think if I think that you know, if I think that there are two goods, X and Y. And Y is an inferior good. So, why is this inferior? Because the other good will be a normal good. Hoga, definitely. In, um, in DSC first semester, we used to get this proof that if you have n goods, then not all goods can be inferior. Ek to pakka normal hoga hi hoga. Sare ke sare goods inferior goods nahi ho sakte. Why? Just for example, if I just take for two goods, fir hum n ke liye usko permutation combination, uh, I mean we will just take it for n. We will just uh, use mathematical induction. We will say that 2 is true, hai, n is true. Let's say that we have this budget equation, budget line. Px into x plus py into y is equal to income. One thing we always remember is that consumer will always be on his budget line. Consumer ka optimal consumption is always on the budget line. It is always on the budget line that consumer will consume. Consumer will never, never be inside the budget line. This is a weekly preferred region, hai, right? I will prefer this weekly over this region. This is weekly preferred over this, right? Achha, so I will always prefer to be on the budget line rather than being inside the budget line as a consumer. I will want to spend my entire income. This is a rule. Now, if I say Y is an inferior good, that means when my income will increase, I will decrease the demand of Y. If I will decrease the demand of Y, if I will consume less of good Y, so my expenditure on good Y will also decrease. I'm not spending much income on good Y. I want to shift towards normal goods, right? So I will decrease the demand of good Y. Now, this way, I will tell you that X is an inferior good. X is also an inferior good. So when your income will increase, you will decrease the demand of good X also. So your expenditure on good X will also decrease. Now, if you are reducing on x, you are reducing on y. Bhi kharcha kam karo. Suppose earlier my income was 100. I was spending 40 on x and I was spending 60 on y. 
my income increased to 120 and i'm saying both are inferior good suppose ki dono hi inferior hain to meri spending x pe bhi kam ho jayegi i will spend less on x and i will spend less on y because they are inferior that means when my income increased to 120 i'm only spending 30 plus 50 that is 80 i am below my budget line this is not possible i have to be on the budget line ye pura 120 rupees kharch karna zaruri hai i have to spend this entire 120 rupees if i have to spend this 120 rupees and i decrease the the amount of y i must increase x so x pe expenditure badega x pe i will be spending how much now um 70 this is what i will be spending on x i will be spending 70 rupees on x so when one of the commodity is an inferior good the definitely the other commodity has to be a normal good for you to be on the budget line i hope this is making sense now if we go on n commodity case mein bhi, we can take it that you know maximum n minus one goods inferior ho sakte hai. n minus one goods can be inferior goods but that nth good but that nth good it will be a normal good this nth good will be a normal good Ek pe to kharcha badhaoge na, so that you can spend your entire income Baki sab pe kharcha kam kar diya. then where will you spend the income the increased income you must spend it on x so so you know why is now now when i talk about uh, the income elasticity when i talk about the income elasticity of an inferior good so what is income elasticity it tells me the percentage change in the demand of good x whatever good jo bhi inferior good hoga, percentage change in demand of good due to percentage change in income now when income increases the demand of that good decreases so they are negatively related so income elasticity is negative yes why is income elasticity negative because the demand of that good and income move in opposite direction hacking but but let's think a little more just think about this yehi example le lete let's take this example only my income was 100 I was spending 40 on good X and 60 on good Y. Okay. My income increased. I decreased the demand of good Y. Y was an inferior good. So I started spending only 50 on good Y. That means I will spend remaining 70 on good X. What was the share of income? On good X earlier. Pehle kitna percent good x pe kharch kar rahe the? 40 by 100. So I was spending 4 by 10th. That means 2 fifth of my income on good x. Now what is the share of income on good x? By I am spending 70 rupees out of 120 rupees. So it is 70 divided by 120. 7 by 12. This is 0 0.4. This is 0. Point, uh, approximately uh, uh, 12 5 is 60. So, 0 0.6 lete approximately. 72 hota pura kaatne ke liye. So, 0 0.6. So, do you see that the share of my income, jitna kharcha mein x pe kar rahi hoon, the share of my income will definitely increase if the other good is an inferior good. The share of my income on good x is increasing because good y is an inferior good and i am reducing the amount that i am spending on good y so this is a this is a good analysis to look that achha, if the share would have increased then in the background i can think that maybe maybe the other good is an inferior good so it gives me some conclusion that when the share of income on one good is increasing i am spending more amount of my income on one good that means I've reduced the share that I'm spending on the other good. The other good is an inferior good. So, this statement, if we read it, 
that as income increases, good on which spending grows faster than income. Occupy rising share of income. Yes, this is true when the other good is an inferior good. But this is no reason for negative inferior, uh, for negative income elasticity. Are you getting it? So we can say that both A and R are individually true. R is not the explanation for A. Agar iski jaga pe, the assertion would have been that we spend less on inferior goods or we spend more on normal goods as income increases, then maybe this reason is correct. It makes more sense. Iska reason hi hai, that we are spending less on the first good and we are shifting on to the other. But here, income elasticity, negative income elasticity of inferior good is not linked to that, but they are interlinked statement. Aisa na lage ki dono statements ka ek saath dene ka koi sensei nahi hai. No. They are linked. We made this link between these two shares, right? So you have to thoroughly look at the sentences. Let's just go through my explanation once now. So A is true. Inferior goods have inverse relation with income. As income increases, demand of the good decreases. Reason tell. As income increases, ye kya bol rahe? reason kya tha? Ki income badhao, to good pe jo ab spend kar rahe ho, wo badha do. So when my income is increasing, it is saying spend more on the good. Okay? So I changed my income from 100 to 120. I increased my expenditure. When I increased my expenditure on the good, I saw that indirectly because when I'm increasing the expenditure on one good, it means that I am reducing the expenditure on the other good. So indirectly, this statement is saying that the other good is inferior. But R is not the reason for A. So are we clear with this? So just think about this once more. Isse, what am I learning today? My learning is that if there are N goods, not all of them can be inferior. Only N minus 1 can be inferior. I am learning today that inferior goods have negative income elasticity. I am learning today that the share of my income on normal goods will increase and on inferior goods it will decrease. Right? So this is your question on assertion and reason from microeconomics. Okay, we will meet tomorrow with another question. Thank you.